Creating playlists in a Cricut project is easy. Just click the Create New Playlist button and name your playlist. Example playlist. You can then arrange and rearrange your playlist in whatever order makes the most sense as you're building your project. To add a resource to a playlist, scroll to the bottom and click Add New Resource. You will then want to select from the different activity types that we have available. There are currently 40 in the Cricky Studio, and we will be adding more. Select the type, the activity, Name the activity. Upload a thumbnail that's representative of what the learner will be engaging with. And you have the option of adding metadata, but it is not required. The metadata is helpful when publishing to a learning management system so that educators and learners can find your content based on subject or level. Each activity building interface is unique based on the activity type. This is an example of an interactive video where I'm prompted to title the activity, add a video from either YouTube or your computer, and then add interactions. This is the spot where I can add the interactions. I can then fast forward to a particular part of the video and then select which type of interaction I want to add. In the sample, true false, I can select how long do I want the prompt to be displayed. If I want to pause the video, then I title the question. This title will be what is displayed when the pop-up is there. Then I ask the question, select the answer, and then can customize based on behavioral settings or adaptivity. When I'm done with this question, I select done, and then I'm brought back to the interaction screen to continue to add more interactions. When I'm done adding all of my interactions, I can then choose to do a summary task review, or I can skip that and just publish this activity type. To preview your creation, click the preview project button in the upper right hand corner. This shows you an interface and allows you to navigate within playlists the different activities that you've created. To leave the preview, select the X in the upper left hand corner.